Welcome to Curry King Winnie. Today, I'm going to show you cook biryani. Biryani is very complicated. I learned this in when I was in Hyderabad, and I'm going to make lamb biryani, which is simplify it, but it's going to be really, really tasty. It's going to be a special biryani. It's not like an ordinary dish. You know, cooking biryani is even for a lot of chefs is very hard. So I'm just trying to make it as simplified as I can, so you guys can prepare and enjoy it all. I have taken half a kilogram of tender lamb. I'm using the boneless lamb. To this, I'm going to add a pinch of salt and I've got some yogurt which is in the room temperature, it's 100 ml. And I'm going to whisk it and I add some more water to it. And along with that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blend about four almonds, about eight to ten cashew nuts, which are soaked in warm water for about 15 minutes. and half quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder a little bit more than that garam masala same amount coriander powder a little bit more than cumin powder a little bit more than chili and salt so what I'm going to do is instead of just blending the cashew nut and almond I'm going to add the spices as well to it so once marinated I'm going to do a technique here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tablespoon of ghee heat it up and add the spices to get all the spice flavor and then pour it on top of the lime marination. What it does is it infuses the garam masala flavor to the lime and also to the rice. So the next is in a pan I'm going to take hot water. I'm just going to add the whole spices, chili, and uh, you know once when it brings to boil I'm going to add salt, caramelized onion, and the turmeric, and uh, the mint leaves, and going to add the rice which I'm going to soak for 20 minutes, the basmati rice for half a kilogram of lime I've taken 400 grams of basmati rice so when the water is boiling with along with the rice so that's when I'm going to add the lime, I'm not going to add the lime before that when I'm going to cook the rice nearly done then I'm going to strain it in a colander and then spread it on top of the lime once I spread the rice I'm just going to warm the milk it's only about 50 ml. To that, I'm gonna add some saffron strands and just pour it on top of it. Now, I'm just gonna taste it. I want it to be really nice, aromatic. I'm, I am going to add a pinch of salt to it. Yeah, and pour this mixture into the lamb. I'm going to mix it. Now I'm adding 100 ml water to 100 ml yogurt. I'm just using the same water which from the blender, you know, so I get all the flavors out. I'm just going to add it to the, the lamb mixture. So what I've done here is I use the yogurt which is in the room temperature. The reason yogurt should be in room temperature is it starts acting faster than if it's colder, it will take a little bit longer. So I have 400 grams of rice. So I'm just gonna soak it and just give it a wash as well. So the next thing is, I'm gonna start cooking the lamb. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is, once it, until it boils, I'm just gonna keep it on high flame and then lower the sit temperature. Second one, I'm going to start heating water for the rice. So I'm just doing the both at the same time. Now we can see it starts boiling. I'm just going to put the lid on and lower the temperature. Just give it a stir. See, it's formed like a like a curry sauce that just with yogurt and water. You can see the lamb's cooking; it's nearly done. So, also the water's boiling. So, I'm just going to add the rice to it. The, the ingredients we have mentioned earlier. I'm going to put the whole spices: a bay leaf, a black cardamom, a green cardamom, 
two cloves, cinnamon and a half a green chili. I'm just trying to avoid it, direct contact. And the cinnamon. To that, I'm gonna add the salt and the turmeric. So I'm gonna wait till it starts boiling, then I'm gonna add the coriander, mint and the caramelized onion. So meanwhile, at this point in time, I'm gonna do our trick before we put the spread the rice. So which is gonna be I've taken one tablespoon of ghee and I'm gonna add bay leaf or star on ice, a couple of cardamom, cloves and cinnamon. So I'm gonna be once it's nice and hot, masala is gonna be spread right on top of that. Just wanna check for the rice, is it, is it fully cooked? Yeah, it's definitely got salt in line. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn the heat off. Yeah, and this rice, I'm just gonna spread. Oh, be careful, it's hot. So if you look at it, the top rice, is nearly cooked, the middle rice is partly cooked and the bottom is you know where it's slightly more raw. So that's how it works. So now what I'm gonna do is just leave it for a second and warm milk and Few saffron strand. Just mix it. Look at that, how quickly colors change. I'm just gonna. There you go. And I'm gonna put. The... Now I'm gonna shift the biryani because we don't want it to be too hot on a pan. It should be cast iron, not a non stick. We wanna make sure the head heat spreads equally and make sure it's cooked slowly, not too hot. So we want to control the temperature. I put the pan on. I'm just gonna leave it for about uh, 10 minutes. So make sure all the dryness from the, the top rice is uh, released and the lamb is cooked thoroughly. Now it's been 10 minutes. The steam coming off from here. What I'm doing is just taking and smelling the steam to see it's nearly done. Let me just open and show you. Look at that. Each and every grain of rice is very separate. 